Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 LICO challenge. Today we have LICO 426, convert binary search tree to sort double link list. And here's the description. And you can take a moment to take a look at that. But in summary, uh, you can take a look at this example. So now this is the binary search tree. And we invert this one to a double link list looks like this and it's in sorted order. So what is binary search tree? So binary search tree is when you see this node and everything on the left side is smaller than the middle node and the right side is bigger than a middle node. So we can see here, two is bigger than two, smaller than three and everything on the left side is smaller than four. So five is bigger than four. The order in here is always go to left side and then go to middle and don't go to right side. So now the left side is done and go back to the middle node, which is four and go to the right side and five. Then that's the order of the binary search tree. So um, in here is the node. Uh, we have a head. It's a, one of the hint that we're gonna use we will start with using the hat and also a previous number pointing to the hat. And we will have a helper function uh, that connect, uh, go all the way to the left side first. And we see one is the one that we're gonna process and we connect it to the previous number. And after connect and previous number will be one, we update it. And then we go to the middle and connect to the previous one, which is one. And after that connection, we update this one to be become previous. And we do the same thing on the right side. So we always updated the previous number until we get to the last node. So let's take a look at that code first in up to here. So we will need a node called previous equal to uh, no, we just have it for no first. And uh, we'll keep track if root is no. And return no. So now we have this one. So we have to create a hat. Go hat equal to new no. And that taking the zero and left and right will be no. So we have this and we have previous equal to hat. Now previous is this node right now. We keep, we use hat to make a pointer and we gonna use it uh, at the end of the question. So we just update previous as a pointer. So previous pointing to the head and what we can do is use a helper function and process the root because we are gonna loop through this root and get to the left point pointer, the most left pointer and then go to the in order traversal for this node. And we have something later. So let's take a look at the helper function. We have the helper function that take in a node called node. Also, we check if nodes equal to um, no, then we don't do anything that we turn. And like what we said, when we see a node, we go to left side first and go back to middle and right side. So that order will be helper function. We go to nodes.lab and then helper function node.write at the end. In the middle, we're gonna connect the previous node with the current node and then update the previous node. So what it does is the previous, oh, previous node dot write 
equal to no and no dot left equal to periods. So then they connected. So after they connected, then we can update the periods equal to no. So this is what the helper function is doing. Um, so after the helper function, so up to here, we can draw the map like this. Now we have a hat and what we do is make a zero. The hat will look like this and also the periods right here. I make a hat here and P is called periods, periods node. So they have left no and right no. So if we keep traversal the left, we'll go to sorry four and four is not no. And we go to do four's left first. And four, I mean, now it's two. Two, we do one. One, go to one's left, which is no. And it will return. After the return, then we start to the middle one, which is one. When it's one, we have connected one to the previous node here. So in here, so previous node's right side will point to one. And then one will point it back to previous number. And then after that, we update the previous to become one. Now one is periods. And then after one is processed, go to the right side. Right side have nothing, then left side is got finished. So when left side is finished, we go to middle, which is two. And now we see periods is two, we connect it to two, two back to one, and we update it. So I just run through this code with you and we go to the right side, which is here. And it will look like this. We keep connecting and we're back to middle. Four, four point is three. And then after everything is done, we go to the right side. We have five and point it back to four. But we're missing one thing just because in five, we only have left side, but we doesn't have right side. Right, you can see you need to connect five right side to one. That's one thing. And then one is connected to the wrong left side. It should connect one to five. One's left is supposed to be five. So this zero is just a template that we're gonna change. So what can we do now? So now we have all this connected with the hat right here. Let's go back to the code. Okay, now I can type. So now we know hat is connected like this in this order. We can see if periods, which is pointing to five right now, dot right is equal to hat dot right. Now you see hat is zero, right? Hat dot right is one. So we connected five periods to hat dot right is one. So now we connect it. I can draw again. So now we connect to here. That looks good, but we need to connect one back to five. After this, we will have head dot right dot left equal to periods. So you, you can see head dot right is one, dot left is periods. Then you connect it one to five. So I'm not gonna draw it from here. 
So what we can do is almost done. It's return head dot right, which is one right here. Let's take a look at this. And cool, this is one of the test case and let's submit it. Cool, and then it beats 100%. Yeah, this is this question and I hopefully it's, it's clear enough. So if you still have question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.